Hey guys, Richard of Fish and Idol Channel and Reefs.com. I'm gonna take you on a journey of my day today. Check it out. We have our little reef aquarium here. It's been running for about a year. It's looking pretty darn good. All aquaculture corals. I can show you one of the secrets in the back. Can I take my mask off? Okay, I will. Whoa, look at all this filtration. How does it work? I have no flippin' idea. Yeah, one of the cool little things besides all the delta I can put in the course is this clear water scrubber. Just look at that little baby in there. Get a close-up of the algae and that thing growing. Oh, look at that beautiful stinky algae. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, so we built a little, just because at night it stays on all the time, we built some little light blockers on it. Uh, that keeps it dark so there's no extra light coming into the space. But the unit's working really nice. Beautiful little thing. And this is a 300 model for how big is this tank? Uh, this is 2,000. If I were to do it again, I'd probably do a second mm -hmm. uh, unit. Um, but it helps out a lot to keep phosphates really near zero. Awesome. So as you can see on Richard's screen here, we've got what we call a hot spot there in the middle. This is not a growth ring as some other people like to refer to them. You do not want that. So what we're gonna do is, is use this little plastic card here that uh, Richard gave me and I would recommend anybody else, old credit card. We're gonna clean the screen here and then we're gonna show you how to kind of seed the screen so that this doesn't happen anymore. Gotcha. And you know, it's funny because I, I didn't have that on the second one. Like I said, I think what happened, everything that fell off, I think it sloughed off in there. I think that's what happened. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do this to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So gotcha. the easiest way for anybody to do this, we've got our center light blocker here that just snaps off. We'll clean that up. Thing. And then you just take your little card here and just scrape down like that. Yeah, the whole process it literally takes me about five minutes for everything. And I do it like every other two, three weeks. So, I mean. Yep, and we'll flip it over here. Just scrape the other side. So there it is, and as you can see here, the algae is still stuck in those screens there. We'll give this a, rock, a rinse, get rid of some of the detritus and stuff that's caught up in there. Yeah. But that's exactly what you want to do. You don't want it to look like this again. Right, you so that you want to, to seed like it. This. Right. That way you don't get such a delay in your nutrient uptake. So what we're going to do to seed it mm -hmm. is...
bring out some of this extra green stuff that we know is good and healthy. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take it and rub it in those squares. Get it all up in there. Again. Literally just seeding it in there, huh? Yep. It'll hold in there. We can kind of scrape off that. Do the same thing on this side. Some of this other. And you can do this with brand new screens if you got some hair algae elsewhere in your tank or if you trust somebody else's scrubber that you have. And there we go. And it should hold and <laughs> not, not have that fair spot in the middle anymore. Okay. A little bit more water. Perfect. All right, all right, Chris. So delivery is made. Yes. Hello, Chris. Thank you very, very much. That is amazing. I don't know. It's going to look really dark with the the bright background. Yeah. But uh, wow. Yeah. So is it going to go inside here? I, this tank? Um, or in your lagoon? Or what do you home. think? No, it's not going to go in the lagoon. Okay. Um, for it to go in here, I'm going to need to take out uh, something. <laughs> we shall see. I'm going to have to decide that. I have room somewhere. Yes. I can yes. always make room for a coral. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> corals, uh, especially Cynarina type corals. Yeah. 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 Chris told me as soon as he got it, he's like, ah, oh, this is, um, he's like, I'm not selling this. This is going to Julian. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a good, good choice. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how it, it emerges really? from, you know, the one center and then sprouts out like sprouts that. Out. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. That's We're gonna awesome. have to find out more information about these guys. For sure. So I think it's probably the same as these two. What's as far as species? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, like they—they they kind of look like it. If you look yeah. at the yeah. the flesh and then the house structure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look at the skeleton, see that that's matching too. Uh, it's definitely the same as that last. He, he sent me another one like this. Like a nine-headed one, right? Yeah, it was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And I put it in here, and I had um, peppermint shrimp uh. that were in there to control aptasia. Yeah. What they did is they would kill one polyp at a time. Oh no. So the rest of the coral looked good. Yeah. And then little one by little, one would die, and it was like, damn, what's going on? And I thought it was an infection. I never suspected the shrimp. Uh. And um, then, when it was down, I forget to 
you know, maybe two polyps. Yeah. Um, they just destroyed. Oh, jeez. Yeah. How many? How many do you have now? The peppermint shrimps, or did you take it all I, out? I took them all out. Yeah. So that's why there's LPS in there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also FKs in there, but. Uh, and I would have barbecued those shrimps. <laughs> yeah, no, that was... And the uh, problem was, there were trade shows at that time. Oh. And so everything would look good. And yeah, yeah. And go away, and I'd come back, and, and a polyp would be gone, or two polyps would be gone. Yeah. And so, and then there was another show, and it, you know, it just was, the timing was bad. I couldn't, I couldn't focus on it. Gotcha. And everything looked so good, I just was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with the water, there's nothing, you know. Yeah. Darn. Yeah. And the shrimp didn't bother anything else. Anything else. They didn't bother any other corals. Yeah. So that was. Jeez. Yeah. Thank you. 